guys are gonna have to give me a sec. No, I gotta bring the energy levels back up. It's currently almost 10 o'clock here, uh, Marquette, Michigan time. Doc's appointment this morning. Wake up at seven to uh, mentally prepare for that. It's all good though. We're all healthy. We're still gonna be able to uh, hunt and fish with you guys till we're at least 100, shooting for 120, 130, somewhere in there. But anywho, how in the heck are all y'all doing? We got another quick little, but uh, another quick little exciting fishing video for you. I appreciate all of you guys for putting up with our rants. I can take a lot of abuse, but typically it's when I read my 100 to 150th shout out request from people I've never even heard of, never even talked to, never even met before. I think we're just going to give them something. That's completely off topic. Today's video is pretty special. We got a uh, new addition to our family coming all the way from California. He wanted to uh, do a little bit of bass fishing with us. So we took him out, caught some fish. A little bonus towards the end of the video for you guys. The second person fell out of fell out of the Hunters for Life barge, and it wasn't me. Could I be the third person? Possibly. Would it I rather it be somebody else? Probably. Am I probably going to fall out of the boat eventually? Absolutely. But, anywho, before we ramble on anymore, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, thumbs it up. If you hate it, thumbs it down. You can even know, uh, you know, threaten our lives. Whatever you got to do, whatever makes you happy, do it. If you guys like what we're about here at Hunters for Life, hit that subscribe button. Share if you want. But, here is the video. Out here on Boardman Lake today. Got a first time bass fisherman over there. Hopefully we'll put him on some fish. This is Nick's third attempt at putting a putting a boat in the water. He's doing a mighty fine job. That's good coaching. Hopefully we'll put the feet down on some fish. Nick's got our first fish. Is it a big one? Going in that. Is he net worthy? Now there's a freshwater stingray. <laughs> Did he catch you? Yep. Dirty bugger. Well, that's a northern pike. Not what we're after, but it's a fish. <laughs> Nick's hooked up what appears to be another northern pike. At least probably 45 to uh, 45, or yep, yep, about 45 to 50 inches. That's a North Yeah. We're out here sailing in the wind. Yeah, I know you're pissed. <laughs> I'm not pissed, I'm having a good time. You guys might be able to tell it's about a hundred mile hour winds out here so we uh decided to come into this little river it's a little less windy emphasis on little not white caps in here so we should be okay dirty water i hear people oh there they are <laughs> Going neutral. I got it. Well, let's see how waterproof the iPhone 7 is. Definitely just mid. That's deeper than I thought. Did you touch the bottom? Yeah. Oh. Let's I wish I would. I wish I would have recorded because that was pretty graceful. You all right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, those aren't very waterproof. Headed up the river, trying to catch some river donkeys. No river donkeys yet. Hanging out under the bridge, looking for trolls. Haven't found any trolls yet. We're pretty certain that Mateo's a bad luck charm. We'll let you know, we'll let you know soon. Get in there.
Large mouth. Is that small? Is that smally? What is this? It's well, we just found out there are indeed bass in here. We got about an eight inch small mouth. Take it. I'll switch ya. Uh, yeah, you gotta reel with the other hand. Something like that. Oh, no way did he get off. Yeah. Dang it. Um, <laughs> wait, you're lefty? I uh, am ambidextrous. My spinning rod, as you can tell, my spinning rods are on this side and my bait caster on the other side. Yeah. I'll switch back. Dang it! Yeah. It's worth a shot. Yeah. You can just set that on the side if you want. We decided there's no Mondos in this lake. We tried to give him a table of fish, we hooked one. Sadly lost it, but we're gonna go back, eat some food, go back out, hopefully not run into these people. And uh, we're gonna do more bassing tonight and maybe a little bit of bow fishing. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, hope you guys enjoyed our, our cousin Nick uh, falling out of the boat. A little background behind how this whole fiasco entailed. You guys might be thinking we were going really fast and he fell out. We decided there were no fish in the Poo Poo Canal. So we decided to just, you know, idle on out. Trolling motor just wasn't strong enough to go into, into the current and into the gale force winds. So I would rack in on the tiller. We were probably doing uh, a quarter mile an hour, maybe a half a mile an hour. Nick, the brave soul that he is, decided it would be the best idea to stand up on the front of the boat to look for stumps and did not see the stump that was probably about inch and a half, two inches in diameter, sticking off about yay high out of the water. So as the boat's going along, doing its boatly thing, we slowly came up in a little sideways onto the stump. It was pretty graceful. And if you guys uh, watched our past video where Nick was dancing up on the, on the front of the boat, it was pretty similar. He kind of jumped one way, jumped back the other way, Put a, put a foot down on the handle of his rods, which are very, very expensive rods. I think his cheapest rod and reel combo costs more than all of my rods combined. But I think he realized that, you know, if he put any more force on that foot, that was money down the drain. So, logically, the best thing to do in that situation is to just jump out of the boat into the water. So that's what he did. So here's a uh, shout out to Apple. Homeboy Steve Jobs up there watching out for us. The iPhone 7 is indeed waterproof. At Hunters for Life, it is our mission to make the great outdoors accessible to anyone and everyone, regardless of age, limitation, or disability, one partner at a time. Our great partners include Threads and Ink, Huron Mountain Rod Company, made right here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, Mud Buddy Motors, based out of Utah, our good friend Nick over at Superior Outfitters, also a dealer for Huron Mountain Rods, Brian McCarter with Nemesis Baits, Light Dreamers, Custom Pike and Musky Baits, based out of Chicago, shipped worldwide. And last but not least, our good buddy, Adam Carpenter, host of the one and only Outdoor Show. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. And as always, happy adventures.